Jimmy Pallada. Come on, say hi. doing our first little walk around. We've checked in. The apartment that we're staying in is very, very nice. 10 out of 10. You ate down with that one, Laura. I really did, although we did have an altercation in the supermarché. Oh yeah, the lady didn't want to give her her receipt. Or acknowledge me. She said, oh, English accent, not doing that. Okay, so quick story time. We went to the supermarket, just a normal careful near where we were staying. And we were getting excited, you know, you see the snacks, you see stuff that you don't usually see at home, you see the wines, especially in France, it's cheaper than what we'd be buying. And when we get to the till, Laura's like, can we get the receipt so that we can go home and split what we got? The lady looks at her and she's like, next please. Girl, give us the receipt. She said next please again. But we got the receipt in the end. And oh my god, this part is... So this is open on Sunday mornings and Thursday mornings, so I have to say maybe we could come down. Oh, really? Whatever. Okay. Let's have a look. Look at this. We've walked so much that we've ended up at the port. Should we jump Going on a yacht? That big boat over there. This is so nice. I wish we were doing a boat trip now. But then, oh my god, purchases in France are r ridiculous. And because we're here for a week. I think anything's possible. What's wrong? Why does mine look like a canteen lunch and you guys have literally got the best food ever? It's because of the place. Ah, I don't like it. It's just, it's the presentation. Look at yours. France. I feel like half of my videos so far have been in France and a third of my videos so far have been in the south of France but new year new me I'm actually going to be consistent this time I promise me and my 90 subscribers were going to be insufferable I actually didn't really like the last camera that I was using I was using the Sony ZV-1 and um she's not that girl um I didn't really like how there was like the beauty filter on it because it makes you look like a cartoon. It gives like Facetune vibes and that's not cute. Yeah, so my friend let me borrow her DJI Osmo Pocket and I'm loving it so far. It literally took me about five minutes to learn how to use it. And it's so easy, I can move and it like follows me around. So I don't have to constantly like be checking when I'm in frame and I can just be. I was just looking at myself in like the camera view and I realized when I put, when I do my brows, cause I do brows and then face, and then obviously I do my lashes last. But when I do my brows and I haven't done my mascara yet, I look so scary. It gives a real jump scare. 
but it all come together i promise i got like i lost my mascara so i just got this which was like 12 pounds this was maybelline firework i wore it the other day and i liked it but i mean i literally just got it just because can't be walking around like this can i this is this is a bit of a jump scare babe but um i'm trying to like perfect a quick face and i don't know how to like it's full face or nothing and i don't love that for me because my full face does take a while i'm not like a 20 minute i'm not that girl not yet anyway i've only learned to like do a f like a face that i love not a face but like Acting like I'm literally completely changing my features, but I've learned how to do my makeup in a way that I actually like what I'm finishing with. Because there was a point where I'd do my makeup and I'd be like, who is that in the mirror? And why is she looking at me like that? Like, why am I doing all this to go to the beach? I really need to work on a quicker face. That might be my challenge of the week. I'm gonna time how long it takes me to get ready each day and see if we can do a much faster face because girl it's not giving efficient at the moment i don't take ages i feel like most of the time it's taken doing the base but because i've got ptsd of when i used to do my base so badly i really don't like rushing it but i think especially on holiday i feel like stuff like doing your lashes getting your brows done and also having good skin as well. I have a lot of blemishes, so I feel like I have to sit there and color correct for a while before I can even start doing my face because girl, there's no point of having a full face of makeup. And then you've got blemishes literally showing. You look crazy. It's not cute. It's just the sloppiness just shows. I'm almost done. Listen, I can do this. Later. This is what she's giving. Can I show them what you're giving? Yeah. Love. Oh, he's pose ready as well. <laughs> oh, he's taking a picture. That's smart. And um, do you know what's crazy is that it's not as impressive as the other like stop off points that we went to. But um, we're gonna make the most of it, aren't we? And then um, go for a swim. But I'm gonna take a nap because I feel like I prefer the one that we just came from. Yeah, because it was quieter. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, no. What is it? There's so many of them. Ooh. We are here. So we're going to chill for a bit. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
We are in Nice. What We're in like. Oh, should we? <laughs> Not us jaywalking. We're going to dinner, we have no reservations and we're getting there at like 8 o'clock so hopefully we get a seat for 5 people um, but this is so nice everywhere's closed though I feel like we're spoiled in London where everything closes at like 10pm but it's 8 o'clock so we don't have time to go to any of the shops but we do have time to go for dinner everything closes at like 11ish I think we're going the wrong way actually we're going to eat some Italian food again in France. If I'm honest, I don't love French food, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, when we came back, we showered, got all that salt water off us. Oh, Anthony got bitten by, um, he got fish. stung by a jellyfish. We have to go to the, it, crazy. it was really bad. I'll put a picture up. Oh my God, I'm one of those people. I'll put a picture up there. <laughs> um, but we went to the pharmacy and she was speaking in like the Frenchiest French that I was only like catching a few words. And she gave him some stuff and it's starting to go down, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually better now, it's fine. But it was really crazy. It was, like, it was, it was like, really bad. All, the whole time that that was happening, I was sleeping. By the way, I thought you were pretending to. You didn't have to do it No, literally, I had no idea. But we're here now. It's actually getting really hot. I thought it'd be really cold. I don't know, but at least. Turn left. <laughs> Very cute. Um, but we're at dinner now, so peace out. other city that we've done so far. Oh, actually, we started our day at Billionaire's Bay. We checked on TikTok. Some girl was like, if you want to go to Billionaire's Bay, which is basically like a hidden code. It's not exactly go hidden if everyone goes there, but it's a code of where you can swim and it's quite close to where the yacht stay in Auntie where we're staying. I mean, you should Uber it to a specific location and like more than one person was like uber it to this specific hotel that's the best place to get it and like put the location in and then we asked the driver to take us there and he was like no what you should actually do is go to this other place and i was like i mean okay he took us to basically the other side and we had to walk an hour and a half, an hour and a half to the actual place. And it's like, good, see, we're on the coast. We had like this much pavement. So we were like walking like on the railings, fearing for our lives, trying not to fall to our death. on these crazy rocks in our sandals, for an hour and a half, because obviously we're walking slowly. We, want, we don't want to die. There was just no need because when we got there, we looked back and there was like a little path, so he could have dropped us basically behind. Then, when we actually did leave, did we not see that same Uber driver picking someone up literally behind? But we could have done like a five minute walk. Bad vibes. I feel like he sensed the British accent and was like, you know what? Suffer. Other than that, we were able to go for a nice swim. I was even gonna go back because I napped. Like when he was going through that, I was sleeping. One thing about me, I'm gonna take a nap, even if I'm sleeping on a towel on a bed of rocks. But when I woke up, it was like it had subsidized like just a little bit, and then we went to the pharmacy when we got back. And she gave him antihistamines and two different like an essential oils and some lotion and was like you have to take all of these three times a day for the next three days otherwise 
the bites are gonna come back. What kind of crazy ass bites are those that they come back? But we came back and I just took off my makeup because I just thought, do you know what? No. It was really hot as well. So I had to remove that and I just put a hat on because my hair looked crazy. Like this short hair thing is not a joke on holiday. You have to be styling it all the time. I haven't decided every day is not really, it's not really fun. Like I envy the girls that just throw on a wig and go, I can't do that. Also, I've been wanting to like vlog, not vlog, but like do more frequent posts when I get back. But I don't know what kind of posts I want to do, like what kind of YouTube videos I want to do, but it's, it's silly because obviously I watch other people's vlogs and they just like do their everyday stuff. But for me, I just see it as like, what would I talk about? What would I talk about? I think we overthink things when it comes to ourselves because if it was someone else, I'd be like, duh, just do that. Putting it out there, I'm actually quite proud of everything that I've uploaded. I think that with each video, it's been a while now, it's been almost a year, but with each video, my editing skills get better. I want to try and like, my aim is to have very cinematic vlogs, like, like the guys back in like 2016, like they're the ones that it influenced me to get into vlogging because they were just so cool with their drones and shit. Today we're going to the other side of the coast as and then Monte Carlo and Monaco is on this side. So we're coming from Antibes and going all the way there. So obviously yesterday's journey was like 20 minutes because we were going from Antibes to Nice and today's is about an hour i'm gonna say an hour and a half i think hour 15. it's not too long we're actually just gonna take the train because it's cheaper first of all and we're not in a rush we've got only one reservation at two so if we leave here for 10 we have more than enough time to explore as and then take the train again to monaco very tired but yeah we literally need to leave right now to get the train to us it's us doing uh is it how long was it an hour an hour but well, it was probably longer because Long. we're wearing like sandals and not trainers for the hike and um, we get here and then once we're here we couldn't be bothered to go into the gardens yeah. so we're gonna get some gelato because I've been craving some no it's not even gelato, it's just normal ice cream but I've been craving some and then we're gonna make our way to Monte Carlo because it's not working so <laughs> we did that um, hour plus hike all the way to the top of Ez got to outside the gardens and we're like, nah, it's not. So we got this melting ice cream. <laughs> we're having a fantastic day so far. This is really hard to eat. It's sarcastic at the end, please. I'm having a time. And I'm wearing sandals. Great day. Oh, and it's about to rain. <laughs> yeah. Saison, c'est pour les touristes. Non, et eh ben elle n'était pas ouverte la barrière. Sauf si vous êtes venu avant 8h30. Et si la barrière était ouverte?
I've done nothing today, absolutely nothing. I woke up, went to bed, and then you guys went out and came back, and then I went back to bed, and I thought, you know what, I should shower, because they're gonna come back and be like, girl, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to join them. I'm not even hungry because I actually went for a walk after because I was feeling bummy. And then I found everywhere here is like ice cream or pizza. So I ended up getting pizza. There was a shop that I saw on my way that was like fish and chips for 18 euros and I thought, ridiculous. Not the fish and chips. Fish and chips. In Dagenham, that's like one pound. <laughs> so then... I came back and they're going to dinner, but I literally just came from eating like half an hour ago. So I'm gonna go and get like chips or something, just because. And the restaurant I wanted to go to is closed. Yeah, everything that we want to go to it will be like closed in this specific day. Whatever well, day like, you want to go, we're, we're closed. For three hours for lunch. Yeah. Like, Weird. Sorry? And that would have probably been the only. I feel like that's the only French restaurant in this yeah, area. Everything that's else I really is Italian. To go. And I managed to persuade Laura by sending her TikToks about it. <laughs> and then she doesn't even explain Because we were looking at it before we came, but Laura's very hard to please. She'll see one thing on the menu that she doesn't like, and she's like, yeah, no, we're not going there. Um, so then you have to send her TikToks. Literally, you have to, when you send her TikToks, then she's like, oh, if the Gen Z like it, then she likes it. <laughs> but I don't, we're going to, where are we going now? I don't know. I was um, watching East I think it was like a Japanese restaurant. Uh, Ooh. Asian restaurant. I think. Ooh, a Thai. Um, it might be a mix. Okay. It's called La Lingue de Tigre. Mm. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to finish these whilst they get ready and then head off. I want to see if there's any difference between using the mic and just speaking because oh are you back hello the sound without it is actually already good i'm using this as a case study a research study i guess to why Cass should be using her own camera i love it anyone that follows love Cass, tell her to start vlogging with her camera because it's the bomb diggity. I'm gonna brush my teeth. You're going to come back and be tired from the holiday you just took. Yeah, I have a week. It's my turn to speak, thank you. This is option one. It's very short. And I also think this was probably anyway. Oh shrink. Like unfortunately that's just the reality of it. Like what who's who's more affordable? Sorry. Who's more affordable? Yeah, because of, they don't have too much. For dinner. I'm not a fan of this. For dinner, Claude. For dinner. It's not dinner. Still the right one. The first one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Because this one, I think, one looks like the nowhere. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much. My style consultant. All right, see ya. Bye. I don't know where I put the mic. Well, like the bag for this. So I'm hoping that this sound isn't echoing in this bathroom. But I just spoke to my style consultant, and I don't think this makes sense for wearing being worn during the day. So I'm gonna go for that first, like brown two-piece which I've been calling myself fat this whole trip which I'm a lot bigger than I want to I'm not in like my ideal summer body 
Um, but I fit into a size eight. That is my friend's size eight two piece, and I'm feeling myself <laughs> after that little that little moment there. Um, so I'm gonna start getting ready. They left like maybe 10 minutes ago. It's 10.30. They said they're gonna come back at like 11. And you know, <laughs> I'm still new to this um, styling the pixie thing. And I feel like the straightness can feel the fear. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try a little song. We're gonna try a little song. Um, but I'm gonna jump in the shower and wash my face first because I feel like I look crazy. And also it'll be easier for me to get ready once I've already moisturised and I can just like, once I finish my hair, I can just go straight into my makeup. I'm not going to wear like full glam. I said this on the first day, didn't I? I'm going to do soft glam, but I don't know how to do like, just, you know, a little something small. It always ends up being so extravagant. This is what I'm going for. So I'm going to go and do my makeup in the room because I'm probably in someone's way now. And I'm gonna take a shot of rosé, rosé for breakfast because I haven't eaten anything. When in France. <laughs> We are in the middle of Old Town, by the way, mind you. In I'm wearing the tiniest, tiniest skirt that literally just about covers my bum, and she's got um, a very, very see-through yes. dress, crochet. So and everyone's you can like, imagine. "What the fuck?" <laughs> Um, and we're chasing after Anthony who's all the way down there. I don't know if you can see him with the blue bag, but yeah, that's where he is. It's not even like a look of, oh, tourists, it's like a look of, what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on over there? This is very Saint-Tropez, this is very Cannes, but um, we're going there anyway, so... We're never gonna see these people again, so it's fine. The walk to the Uber is a little bit fast, so um, yeah, this has been a, a bit of an embarrassing walk, but oh my God. It's not this car, because this is too small. Where did he go? Oh, he's there. Is it gone? Huh? Oh. We need to bring it down. He said <laughs> no. He said, Mon chéri, he on said, minutes. Au revoir. Oh. Is there another one coming? Um, I have a
we're so happy, oh, aren't we? This is why I said we oh, got like oh, we paid for the twenty five euros for the little water taxi to oh, get to the, the thing, and then oh, we got excited at the idea of being able to get a yacht back, and the yacht oh, did did not want to go back, so we were passport. stuck for two hours in the middle of the sea and now we're going all the way back to Antibes by yacht which as nice as it sounds it's actually very um, tiring I just want to be in bed I want to eat I want to eat some I want to drink something that doesn't have alcohol in it I want to eat <laughs> I want to shower and I want to be in bed some? It's a bit crowded. How do you feel? I feel fine. We had a solution. We had a solution. A water taxi guy did come, but then by the time he came, they figured out that, like, what they were going to do. So, in the nick of time. In the nick of time, because we we're going to have to pay a two hundred euro fine on top of. That yeah. bill from I dinner, a lunch, or well, I think it makes a good story, it's good memories. It's really not that like bad. What a way to end your thirties. I mean, your twenties. Ooh, that's not. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> she looks at me like. Yeah, I got some nice content. Oh, we all got content. We were shaking in our boots, like but we literally he was he posted a dump whilst we we're in the middle of the sea with no solution. <laughs> but we're on our way back now. Oh. We're on our way back now. We're gonna go back now because right. And it's only it's not that late. eight forty. Laura's actual birthday today, so this morning we set up some decorations. We were supposed to go and get a cake as well, but she was adamant that she only wanted to get her breakfast really quickly and then come back. So we actually saw them on the way back when we were running back to do the decorations. So we just put some sweets out and some crisps that we found in the supermarket next door, but that was cute. She literally didn't know that we were doing it, so two of the guys went out with her to go get breakfast. And then me and Anthony set up all the decorations. I actually filmed everything. Not me remembering. So this is how it went. She doesn't like cream, she doesn't like custard like that. The light on that side was crazy, but now we are 
going to a beach club not far from here um oh my god my forehead looks crazy but i'm not doing what i tried to do yesterday with my hair again because that took a long time so i literally just moved my hair and slicked it back back because i know that i'm gonna get into the water getting into the water um so got my bikini on i'm gonna put a dress on moisturize spf and then we can make our way and keep it cute keep it very cute keep pushing and this is my last full day actually so yeah good times my forehead wow is that how i might need a trip to turkey but um yeah happy birthday laura very tired even though we didn't do anything yesterday we literally went to the beach chilled had some food by the beach like you, I mean, you just get cheap seaside food came back got dressed went to dinner we went to Shijul, which is a tiktok favorite and that is one gen z um recommendation that i can actually hang with it was delicious and i had to ask them like 17 times like don't forget yeah, to the point the waitress were like, okay, bloody hell. Because that's one thing she definitely wanted. She said she wanted to swim and she wanted sparklers for her birthday. And we did that. We also decorated um, the kitchen area. I'll show you that. I actually recorded that. Um, so now her birthday's over. It's kind of like the remnants of the trip. Um, so... Shop and I are going up to get some crepes and coffee and then I'm going to come back, chill, shower. I've already packed my suitcase so I'm literally just waiting for time to go and I'm going to make my way to the airport. Mm -hmm. 